All right, here we go. Um, we're going to get to some mail. We got a full bin here. Let's take a look at the bin. There's a bin. Um, this is just like most of my uh, mail bins. This is the uh, mail from the past weeks, two or three weeks. So um, probably dominated by 2017 football. Um, I, you know, I have wanted to break 2017 baseball. I'm just not going to pay the inflated box prices caused by the Aaron Judge effect. So. Um, it's a bummer, but I'm not going to pay, you know, 90 to to $100 for a box of Topps Chromes. It doesn't seem sensible to me. So, um, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck, but I, I'm enjoying breaking some 2017 football. Eventually, I want to do some basketball and hockey. Um, because I am expanding Cardboard Futures, my store. I've got a deal with, uh, eBay as one of their, like, uh, premier stores or something like that so um, they want me to expand and become bigger so I'd love to break some cases of other stuff and get it all uploaded with my new scanner um, so back to the cards and not cardboard futures but um, 94 this is a Bowman Piazza PSA 10 and I'm gonna try to do some prices on this one on this uh, Melbourne so um, I think this one was like nine bucks plus shipping uh, it was in an auction and nobody had placed a bin and I thought it looked nice so I, I jumped on it so that is a third year Piazza uh, this is one I just opened uh, sometimes I, I, I open some of my mail off camera but if there's something cool and I want to show it I'll uh, save it so um, a, a Leonard Fournette near purple beautiful look at those patch look at that patch and this is to 10 so I um, these are tough to pull I broke a master case of this plus like three boxes um Fantastic product, the best product I've broken in a long time. So, um, two of ten on that. So we'll see how he does. Um, definitely gonna try to get this slab and see what it comes back as. Um, can't wait to get my 500 card order in. I sent off that. I did a bulk preview order on Friday, and I shipped that off uh, Friday night. So it'll probably be like October maybe when that one comes back. That was like 108 cards, but I am prepping another 500 card. It's just getting the right cards. And not just set in stuff to send it. So it takes it takes months for me to get those together. Um, this is a Breeze Clutch Performance. It was uh, out of 50. I think it's game jersey too. Oh, player one. I thought most of these were game jersey. But uh, 465 yards, October 16th. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I remember watching that game. I, I went to a uh, wedding the night before and I had a terrible, terrible hangover. <laughs> October 16th, yeah. My uh, friend, uh, one of my friends got married October 15th, so I always can remember dates. Uh, so, um, something PSA graded, that's just filthy. Um, price on this one was around like 120, which I think is a good deal. If you ever look at these finest 98 refractors, they're often scratched on the surface, and I don't know how closely PSA dings them, but I did send off uh, one of these in my last PSA order, and it had. Uh, noticeable noticeable scratches so um, I'm expecting like a 7 maybe an 8 on a good day so, but this is a 10 so this must not have any I'm not going to snap it out and take a look and see just for uh, those purposes but uh, I'm just going to take PSA's word for it if I start snapping PSA 10s and you, you guys need to have a serious talk or an intervention with me I have snapped back at 9.5 so. <laughs> uh, so I've been doing a lot of this um, instead of busting boxes of products that I'm, I'm not a huge fan of um, I try to buy lots from people now um, th there's a lot of great opportunities for lots on uh, eBay and they're I use it always in auctions and it's just like a bunch of different cards with a bunch of different teams and if you're just looking to get rid of your stuff this is a quick way to do it but um, I don't think it's the best way to sell your cards because um, most collectors have a certain team or player they like, and they don't want to buy a bunch of just random players and cards. But for me, who's looking to expand the store and get some more uh, inventory, it's a it's a great opportunity. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, one of those cases, but it looks like a lot of something. It looks like a '90s baseball lot, actually. <laughs> to cut the card. Oh yeah, I don't know why I bought this, but I don't know. It just looked cool. 
I, I, these all, I think this is like 75 of these. So it's a 93 Donner's Piazza lot. It's a second year. But it was like 5 bucks. And you get 75 of them. So uh, maybe I'll find a few that are gem mint candidates. I don't know. I don't think they're in soft sleeves. So that diminishes the uh, chance of that. But just kind of a fun lot. And then uh, this must have been from the same seller. Let me see what's in this one. Okay, same seller. Um, here's some Bowman Thomases. I'm not gonna whine about the soft sleeves. So some upper decks. We got sports sports flicks '95. Got some scores. Bowman Frank Thomases um, scores. And we got a bunch of tops. And there's one. Uh, there's a uh, no name on front. See that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I've never owned that card. And uh, I don't think I ever will because I don't want to pay the crazy premium for a card that I don't know. I just don't think it's to me it's not worth the premium, but definitely to some collectors it is. So that's that's the, the fun of collecting. So this is one I opened up and I was like, ah, got to show this one off. Even though he's in the uh, red uniform, it's still a part of his career. I don't know if it's in the registry, but I'm a lot of my cards that like cool cards like this that I get, and if they're not in the registry, I need to figure out a quick way just to email PSA and say hey can you add this one in because it definitely should be in it so this is the, the gold refractor the 50 from 2004 Bowman Chrome Griffey Jr. slick card right there Okay, um, this is one I just bought to add to the registry. Hopefully it's part of the registry, but it was like six bucks. And it's an absolute um, silver moss. It's kind of like, a, not a die cut, but it's got a little piece of that that's missing. So um, it looks like a retail card, but it was graded a long time ago. A little white chipping there. Old slab. I still need to make the video comparing all the generations of PSA slabs. It'll be something kind of fun. Some people might like that. So has anybody broken Top Chrome 17 Baseball? What's it like? I, I haven't even watched a, a box break of it. Uh, I think I searched for uh, singles one night of the uh, orange and gold refractors because that's kind of what I like to collect, but I don't really buy anything. Um, so this is the, the tops. So be um, careful when you're buying this. There's a lot of people online selling like the Tomlinson and the Breeze and it's not the actual rookie card. It's I, I showed an example in a previous video, but um, it's, I mean it's pretty obvious because it says 2012, and the outline of the border is darker. So just um, be cognizant of your buying habits because some people, some collectors, I think are trying to pull a fast one. I don't know why for like five or six bucks, but I think some don't even know the difference. So that's just the way it is. Uh, same set as the uh, Fournette we saw earlier. This was in an auction. I think it was 29.99. I, I thought it'd be a great card to uh, send off in a bulk. It's got like, I think that's like the Panthers face. I don't know. It's like it got got a couple stripes and it's out of ten. So it's a McCaffrey. He's an exciting little player. He's a running back though, so he's got what two or three years in the league. <laughs> Sometimes when I buy cards like that, I just kind of want to see them and <laughs> see the condition. And then uh, a lot of the stuff I buy goes right into the store, so I definitely don't keep a lot of this stuff. Um, but I will keep this one because it's a uh, Chiefs card. It's our rookie tailback from Toledo, Kareem Hunt. Um, 15 to 24 status teal. Or at least that's what I call it. And I haven't opened or tried to even buy any more Elite 17 football. Although it was a fun break, um, I just kind of moved on to the next product. I think there's a certain time period when you, you uh, should move on to the next product because uh, the secondary market is always hottest for the cards that are just coming out. Like... Uh, Last week was unparalleled. Next week is Origins, which I, I'll probably uh, skip that one too. And then the week before that was Donruss, which I actually still have some of that. Um, this is a 2005 Tops. I just love buying this card raw and trying to grade it, <laughs> although it is white and it's deceptively like dented and stuff. And this one, I don't know. We'll see. Here's an old plain white. 
But it's it's always going through it's fun going through the smell. Especially on camera. I think it's more fun than on camera. Got a lot of great people that watch this channel and comment on these cards and just uh, makes it all the more enjoyable. The uh, loyal sub subscriber base that's been built over seven years. Uh, Brandon Cooks, it's a blue parallel. This, these blues just shine, man. They're beautiful out of 15. So I definitely was sad to see him leave the Saints, but couldn't, couldn't be a better team for him to go to if he's going to be successful. So player Saints team, just got to move on. Uh, an off-center tops. This is uh, definitely not going to be sent in, but for uh, Bree stuff, I I collect uh, non-graded stuff for him for his rookie year for sure. I've got a nice little box in my uh, card shop at home. I'll have to, I'll have to do a video on my uh, raw Drew Bree's uh, rookie collection. That'd, that'd be a cool one. Here's an edge. Um, this was just in an auction. I think it was like 15 bucks. Um, an edge SP authentic. On card auto rookie for 15 bucks. I mean, that's going to be bought all day by me. Same with Tory Holt for like 10. So, I mean, that stuff's just waiting to be plucked. Here's a couple. Um, whoops. So, Tyreek Hill Blue. These uh, certified blues look really cool. That's the 50. He's actually our, our number one receiver right now because we uh, cut Macklin. And then a Fournette gold team. So I, I guess I haven't been buying crazy high-end stuff, but I've just been having... I've, I have a lot of fun with the uh, low-end too, so... This one's like... You gotta be smarter in the package, right? <laughs> All right, we're in. It, it's in one of these little uh, envelopes, kind of like when you—I uh, don't know. When I was younger, I had a bunch of teeth pulled because they wouldn't fall out, and they put them all in a little like envelope like this and gave it back to me. So um, Bowman's best, 14. I, th I think I had like seven teeth pulled. It was nuts when I was like 13 or 14. 14. Uh, Bowman's best Tomlinson 1499 beautiful card um, this and the breeze continue to increase in value this is probably something sweet because it's in one of these uh, small flat rate boxes and this is an excellent excellent way to um, I always tape these sides because I don't know I guess I'm just paranoid but it's, that's awfully loose so um, this is just a great way to strip higher end cards for like six bucks plus uh, confirmation or tracking so um, definitely uh, recommend this if you're going to ship anything you know nice over $300 or something um, or a $50, $60 card this is in the new holder too it's the Griffey 9 so um, if you're a fan of Griffey and you don't want to shell out you know 450 bucks for the 10 just buy a clean 9 because these 9's look beautiful they look almost identical to the 10's honestly I mean, you're, you're probably, the, the difference you're probably looking at is maybe like a soft corner here or maybe like a surface scratch or something like that. Nothing crazy that's, n nothing crazy um, that would uh, keep you from buying a PSA 9 and saving, you know, 400 bucks. So, just some uh, food for thought for collectors. Because um, on this channel, we're all, we're, we're all about value. This is just to put back in the store. I don't collect Sidney Jones. Although I did just pull a uh, one on one of him from a certified box, which is on eBay. Uh, this is the blue to 15. So, Sidney Jones. I think he tore his ACL or something right before the combine. Here's Miles Garrett. This guy's just going to be a beast, kind of like in the uh, Julius Peppers mold, in my opinion. And it, it's, it's a one on one, guys. There you go. <laughs> I don't consider it a one on one, but I know everything is a, a one of one on uh, eBay. Everything's a one of one. Um, here's a lot of elite cards. So I think in the past I've told you guys like if I buy, if I check out a guy's combined shipping and he's got a bunch of auctions that are ending around the same time and he's got like you know like 25 cents per each additional card, I try to just tax tack a few more on. Just to get some better value. So here's just a bunch of rookies. So 
Carlos Henderson, Kamara, Darbo, Harris, Darbo, that's the purple, Solomon Thomas at 96, Zay Jones at 89, and Brian Hill at 24. So just a bunch of elite parallels that are just, most of those will go in the store except for the Kamara. Um, and here's just the Kamara base. It, it, these are like a dollar plus shipping. It, it's a neat card. I've always been a fan of the elite uh, base rookies going back to like 2000. I've, I've talked about it 2003 and stuff. They're, they're just uh, not the most expensive cards, but they, I think they stand the test of time. So, I mean, I still look at like my Tomlinson and my Breeze and my Vicks from 01 elite. And the, oh, it's my nail. <laughs> Those were numbered out of uh, 500, and they still just look badass. Oh yeah, this was a uh, 101, so it was like 20 bucks. And uh, I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Caleb Brantley it was like a fifth round pick for the Browns, but sometimes at night I just get in that bid on random auctions, and this was one of them. So this will go in the store. Um, we'll see if anybody's a big Caleb Brantley fan. I just love the uh, 101s. They're so cool. This is filthy. I've been picking these up. They've been popping up lately, and they're, they're really condition sensitive. I sent two off on Friday, but um, so this I'd hope for an eight on this. But this is the uh, row two uh, legacy. So there was row one, two, three, zero, and then of course there's the masterpiece one one. But the, it's just a different photo. So this is the row two. Yeah, I need to break some hockey. And I just get stuck with football. I just always liked football cards. I don't know why. Um, here's, a, here's another breeze. So I've just been picking these up. They pop up in auctions all the time. So just another one that looks pretty damn nice, too. So, 01 Tops Breeze Base. This is sick. Is this the, uh, yeah. I can't remember the price on this one, but. Definitely have to pay a premium for this score one. And I don't have the greatest Brady uh, registry, but it's not bad either. But I don't buy a lot of the uh, newer ones. I just focus on the 2000 ones. So um, didn't have this one. Or maybe I had it in an 8, and I just wanted a 9, because I, I know this set's really sensitive with the uh, red borders on the front. It's usually almost always pushed in, so this one looks fantastic. Wow. PSA 9 mint on this one. Recently slabbed, too. Price on that, I think it was like 80 or 90 bucks. Definitely not cheap. Uh, here's a Patrick Mahomes. Played on Friday a little bit against the Niners. Looks pretty damn good, too. So this is our uh, future. I'm excited to see what he can do for us. Um, probably not this year, but there's a good chance next year he'll be the guy. Alex Smith has played good too. He just hasn't gotten us to the next level. And it's tough to get there without like an elite, elite quarterback. The way the NFL is set up now with this past half of quarterbacks and you know Brady throwing the five yard swing passes right and left. This is cool. It's like 30 bucks. <laughs> and I think this is the first pick, too. Here's the 18 minutes in, we got the mandatory. Back at nine, this will be snapped. Look at the subs on that, too. It's almost a 9.5. So um, this will be snapped. I, I think it's going to get a PSA 9. So um, that'll look good in a different holder. <laughs> I'm like sub bias now, it's out of control. Here is some elite. These are throwing cards. All right, man, that, that set was ugly. That prism draft picks. That that logo just looks so ugly. Glad they discontinued that. Uh, Dalvin Cook, 4.99. He's supposedly having a great camp. Although, if you read up on all these players and teams, it seems like every player is having an amazing camp. Uh, Illumination Brady, just. $5 card, try to turn it into a $60 card. And Rogers, Elite Purple, probably like three bucks. So um, we're gonna end on that. We uh, put a major dent in that bin. 
So um, I'll get this uploaded and we'll do some more videos later on in the week. Thanks.